breaking news, guys. President Tinubu summons the new Ondo governor, Aida Tawa, to Lagos after his swearing in jubilation. And these have got Nigerians talking what is going on. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Prospect Standard TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. President Bola Tinubu has reportedly summoned the newly sworn in Ondo State Governor Loki Aidatwa to Lagos State for a meeting. Government sources familiar with the development told Sahara reporters on Thursday. Sahara reporters learned that the president's invitation came after eyebrows were raised over the manner Aidatwa embarked on celebration and jubilation at his swearing-in on Wednesday. His predecessor and the former Ondo governor, Rotimi Akiro Dolu, died of cancer on Wednesday in hospital in Germany, paving the way for Aida Tawa to be sworn in, to be sworn into office. The entire tenor of the swearing-in was very tasteless. How can you be saying, Akori, okay, that is congratulations to us for today's Sussex when it is someone's death that elevated you. He has already got on day one. He was all over shouting and hailing and jubilating. A top source told Sahara reporters. Could he not have kept it solemn for a few hours and done the rejoicing elsewhere? President Tinubu has already summoned him to Lagos over his swearing in jubilation after Akiro Dolu's death. Another source said, One of the sources also accused Ai Datua as acting governor of spraying, spraying cash when he led other members of the state executive council to the burial of the late Chief Williams, the father of the former secretary to Ondo state government. In Akure. He spread money at the barrier of uh, Banin's father, the source said, adding that Aidatiwa should be warned to be mindful of how he manages power. Sahara reporters on Wednesday reported that the swearing in of Aidatiwa followed the death of Akiro Dolu on Wednesday at the age of 67. The swearing in ceremony was presented by the chief judge of Ondo Justice Ulushego, who was sworn in by Akiro Dolu as a 12th Chief Judge of the state in February 2023. Akiro Dolu died on Wednesday in Germany. The governor battled cancer until, cancer until his death. This is the seven-year-old politician who returned to Nigeria in September after a three-month medical leave in Germany and only recently proceeded on another one after President Tinubu directed him to hand over power to his deputy, Ayudatawa. His deputy, Ayudatawa, had been standing in as acting governor. Following his return to Nigeria in September, Akiro Dolu stayed in Ibadan, the Oyo state's capital, and tried to govern his state from there, sparking public outreach. Well, Nigerians have reacted to this. Mr. President, I love your cap cap capabilities. God bless the lovers of Nigeria and distance us from children of hate. Tunubu summoned governors like local government chairman. May Maybe we are getting to the point where the governors will understand their constitutional mandate. In all, it will be a plus for our democracy. He rose to power after fighting unnecessary war. Let him rejoice in peace. Mr. President has gotten another governor as his PA. Mr. President will give you pepper on whom to become deputy to you. Simple. Will he be governor forever? He will sign peace deal like Fubora. God will continue to protect our able president for his elderly and matured in governance. 
I hope he is not going to receive SMS treatment. Heavy forces will fight that new governor during next year's Odo State governorship election. It must be removed. He, he must be removed. They already planning for 2027 election. Give him chance. Patient lion. The word summon him. Eh? Hmm. It seems like an ass boy calling. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. You see, our politicians, all these our leaders, they don't think about death. If they really think about death, that someday they are going to leave this earth, they would have understand that this life is not what they think. You understand? Somebody died. Well, then they talk say, na somebody uh, down for na be somebody hadn't they call herself future or something, something like that. But at least it would take him easy. The man was your principal. Even if his death have elevated you to that position. You could still have remorse to say somebody died. Good and fine. God don't bless you through that one because you now you automatically you are not the governor, but you know if you use your sense. Why are you jubilating? Everybody's going to die someday. You don't even know how many days we'll be in the office. These people they have to learn sense. So Nigerians go say learn sense. They have to learn sense to understand that the life is not the way they think. I don't think uh, Akira Dolu ever thought that yesterday he's, he will ever die. You understand? Like that. If you can recall, when ah, Akira Dolu is one of the outspoken governors in the Southwest, he never knew that that sickness is going to take him to that level. You won't, you won't, you won't believe your eyes before he died. The way Akiro Dolu, the in fact, the 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 Akiro Dolu you know has left for a long time. But you see, with all the money, everything, he could not buy life. Make people the day careful. I bet make a drop up for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.